Hello, welcome to how to use MS Config. First off, how to get to this screen, you would need to go to start, then uh, run, and then you would type in MS Config, and then it should open up after that. You should see the screen that you're seeing now. Um, it's first, you start out on the general tab, and then you can see uh, some options. The first option is normal startup, which is just uh, everything runs regularly. The second one is diagnostic setup, which is um, similar to safe mode. And then there's selective startup, which it will load up certain like um, individual like system services, startup items. Like it, you can pick and choose which one it'll actually load up on boot. And then the second tab is boot. And then um, you should see how many operating systems are installed. Uh, currently, there's only Windows 7 on this computer. Uh, there you have advanced options, or you can have an option to set how many processors you want during the boot. There's only two. It's a dual core. You could limit it to one. Um, you could set a max amount of memory that Windows can only see. Uh, that's useful for checking whether or not you have like a bad RAM stick or not. There's PCI lock, which stops Windows from dynamically um, assigning resources. There's debug, where you can pretty much um, test ports, like COM ports, uh, Firewire, USB, uh, a bunch of options for it. You can set the baud rate for COM ports, uh, basically limits how much information goes in and out of that. Uh, option for Firewire is um, which channel it uses to communicate. And then uh, there's USB, which you can input um, the name of the target that uh, you want to debug for it. And then um, we got boot, we have timeout. The timeout is basically when you start up your computer, you should see um, if you have multiple operating systems you get a boot uh, a bootloader menu and you would have to select which operating system you boot up. This basically lets uh, let you designate how much time you have to select an operating system to boot. And then over here on boot options is safe boot. Um, basically minimal is safe mode. And then um, alternate shell is a uh, safe mode with a command prompt. Active uh, directory repair is uh, it just loads up uh, directory services. Uh, and then a network is um, safe mode with networking. And uh, it's like a basic networking, uh, generic like TCP IP configuration is only used. Over here you have a no GUI boot, which is, uh, it disables the basic the Windows logo that loads up and it'll um, start displaying uh, the startup processes an error message that you may get. Over here is the boot log. Um, you use it to debug problems that are reproducible. And then base video is, uh, you boot up with a, a basic VGA driver for your video card, like nothing fancy. And then OS boot information um, will tell you while uh, Windows starts up, it will list all the current drivers that it loads up and the version numbers. And then uh, over here we have the services tab. <laughs> it lists all the, uh, the current services that runs on your computer, that loads up when your computer starts up. Uh, you can sort them through na uh, name and manufacturer and the status of it. And then uh, there's an option here to hide all Microsoft services, which is helpful because uh, you automatically assume anything by Microsoft is legit. Uh, there's a button over here, enable all, disable all. It's just for for convenience. There's nothing, anything special to them. Uh, if you disable any, hit apply. Um, over here on this date disable tab, it'll show you um, the date that you disabled them. Okay system configuration startup tab 
uh, what we're going to talk about is the items within the startup tab. The startup items basically gives you the name of each item. This is this startup tab, the startup item. The next tab is manufacturer. It displays the corporation's name. The next tab is command. Displays the file path. The next tab is location. Displays the registry path. The next tab over is location. Location displays the registry path. So going back to command, command displays the file path. All right. All right. So moving down, moving along is uh, the system, the system configuration displays the date it was disabled. Uh, this can also be used to disable sp spyware in all unwanted startup programs. Okay, if you look further down, you have a enable and a disable, enable all and disable all button. Um, and also you have the OK and the cancel along with the apply and help. Okay, the next tab we have is tools. And the tools is pretty self-explanatory. The tool name basically uh, is the two names and detailed, detailed description. And you also have a description which pretty much gives a detailed description of that tool name that you select. And furthermore, whatever tool name you select, you can also launch it. So and you have the launch button right here that can launch the tool. Once you've um, looked in that area there, you can click OK or cancel to get out. 